Hello and welcome back to AR77. I thought I'd do a very quick comparison video on these two replica air pistols in front of us. On the left hand side you have the Glock 19 Gen 3 by Umarex. On the right hand side you have the Colt Defender also by Umarex. Um, this video is really for any potential buyers who might be umming and ahhing between these two pistols. They're both in a similar kind of a price range here in the UK. The Glock 19 is going to cost you around and about £100 UK. And the Colt Defender, sometimes similar, sometimes up to that £100 mark. But often you can pick one of those up a little bit cheaper, sometimes as low as 70 sort of quid, uh, 70 quid in fact. So let's have a look at them in terms of functionality. We're both very similar in a way the, there's there's no moving slides on these pistols uh, they, you can't take them down you can't rack the slide you're not going to get any blowback on these pistols um, both kind of built out of the appropriate materials this is full metal um, as it would be uh, in real life the Glock is metal slide and polymer lower as it would be in real life um, functionality let's have a look well for the Defender all you need to do is open up the grip like that, drop your CO2 in that side, uh, you tighten the CO2 with the little screw on the bottom there, so no extra tools required, and you can load, I think, up to 16 rounds in that side of this kind of built-in magazine. Uh, close up your, your pistol grip, and you are ready to shoot. Pretty straightforward. For the Glock, uh, a little bit of extra functionality. You do have a dropout magazine, that's metal magazine, and it has quite a nice base plate on the bottom of that with a bit of extra kind of Glock uh, branding there, the Glock logo, so that's quite nice. Um, in terms of CO2, you just pop the back off this pistol, your CO2 drops in there, you've got a tool on the back strap there which flips down, that's like a hex, hex key or an allen key, you tighten it up at the bottom and you are good to go. So again, no extra tools required for any of these, either of these pistols which is a, a nice to have, I would say. It just makes things nice and compact and handy. In terms of power, both of these shoot at around and about 400 feet per second, so pretty good shooters. In terms of accuracy, uh, accuracy in this case meaning how close to the real steel they are, uh, well, let's start with the Glock. The Glock is pretty, pretty accurate to a, a Gen 3 Glock 19. Again, metal slide, polymer lower. You've got some really nice Glock branding there. You can tell on closer inspection that it's not a cutout ejection port. Um, really nice sights on that. You've got the kind of the white dot at the front and this kind of half picture frame at the back. Right hand side, more Glock branding, pretty subtle other than a bit of white writing there. Uh, your grips, ergonomics feel very good, very accurate to how the actual uh, the Glock is. Um, a bit more Glock branding on the on the uh, on the grip there yeah so pretty accurate and again that base place base place that base plates i think makes a bit of a difference on the glock for the colt defender well it's it's close you know it's it looks the part on first inspection it looks like a defender sized kind of 1911 um the 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 cutout slide there isn't cut out that's just a sticker but it's a decent sticker it's not going anywhere uh, you have a bit of Colt branding here on the right hand side. The safety there isn't accurate, you wouldn't have that uh, on the real Colt Defender. And you do have these kind of screw holes. I think the way this is manufactured is essentially two pieces of metal pushed together. And because of that you have these screw holes um, up and down the right hand side, which might be slightly off-putting. But you do have that nice Colt branding again on the grip there on that side. And on that side, none of these switches work just like on the Glock, none of the side switches work. You don't have a recessed barrel on the Defender. Um, you do kind of have a, a recessed barrel on the Glock while I'm just mentioning that. So let's point that out. That makes makes it look a little bit more realistic if that's what you're into. Um, yeah, the trigger here is not realistic to a 1911 style trigger. Um, if that bothers you, I don't know. You can obviously see the screw at the bottom, so that might be slightly distracting to you it might not be if you particularly prefer 1911 style pistols you'll probably want to go for the colt defender if you particularly prefer a, a more modern look of pistol or you particularly like glocks you're probably going to go for the glock but both of them are really nice air pistols both of them a lot of fun to shoot 
I would say the Glock is the closer replica and costs uh, just that little bit more generally than the Colt Defender. Hope you've enjoyed that very quick kind of head-to-head -head comparison. Uh, all the best. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.